This week, Trisha Paytas had a lot of people outraged that had people calling on Shane Dawson. The Dolan twins finally dropped their big announcement. James Charles slammed the Dobre brothers this week. Hey guys, I'm Susan Morad. And I'm Emil and it's Junior. Thanks for coming to hang out with us today. Yes, we've got such a jam-packed show and you might have noticed some uh, pumpkins mm -hmm. around the set. We're getting into the Halloween spirit early. We're kind of like creeping into the Halloween spirit and... We have a pumpkin pie too. We have a, apparently it's like pumpkin pie day today. There were two or something two, though. Two this year, but we were like, we're going to roll with it because we want to get the pumpkins out. We're thinking about Halloween. Uh, but before we get into that, we've got so much to get into the show. Yes, yeah, so we're going to start off with the Dolan twins. So last week we were talking about the Dolan twins releasing their video and we didn't know what it was going to be. What's mm -hmm. the big announcement? And you remember so many people were speculating it was going to be about James Charles. Others thought it was them leaving YouTube. Yeah. or opening up about their dad's passing well. They sat down with Shane, AKA, AKA Dr. Dr. Phil, Phil <laughs> uh, of YouTube at least, and they shared that they aren't leaving YouTube, but they are gonna be pulling back a little bit. They just said they've become like a little burnt out and they've been posting every week since they're 14 years old, which is wild to think about. Yeah, I mean, and they need a time to live their life offline. Mm -hmm. So they won't be posting every Tuesday anymore, just when it's right for them. And they also wanna be able to post content that they're passionate about, and not feel this sort of, we need to post a video every the week. pressure of it. Yeah, and a very like YouTube-y style video. So they opened up also about losing their dad and the hardship that they had, particularly mm -hmm. because they didn't really get time to process it all. Yeah. There's a lot in the video. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. But in summary, they're very excited for the future and their evolution. We're very excited. Yeah. And all of you guys are excited and have been showing so much love and support in their comment section. Because they're going to have more time to like actually do stuff there excited about so yeah exactly exactly what else is up Susan? i'm gonna cut some pie slices here i was just about to say i'm very excited you're like we're talking about being excited i'm like i'm excited about pie uh, but before we jump into the pie let's move on to our next story so james charles slammed the dobre brothers this week as did a lot of other influencers and youtubers so the dobre brothers who first blew up on vine and now have their youtube channel the dobre brothers are currently on their tail end of their dobre brothers live tour a TikTok video surfaced this week via twitter Ooh, thank you you're via welcome. twitter of the boys at a meet and greet with a fan that has a lot of people outraged. So it was first tweeted by this person with the caption, please tell me this is a joke. Here, watch the clip. This video is so awkward and so upsetting for so many fans to watch, particularly because this girl, like many other people, actually paid to meet them. Yeah, that's what's so bad about it because it's not like you're paying like $5. Or first of all, the money doesn't even matter because even if they didn't pay a single thing, if you're doing a meet and greet, I understand like you're feeling a certain type of way, you can be tired and things, but I understood where fans were coming from saying that's still not an excuse. Yeah, because the meet and greet on their website was anywhere from either $75 to $599 and they barely smiled with her, they yeah. barely interacted and they kind of almost shooed her away at the end. It was really, really sad and Twitter users were actually going off. Well, I on saw about this. a lot of Twitter users, but specifically James Charles, he tweeted what the actual is this in response to the video and then a Dobre Brothers fan account then responded in a tweet that's now been deleted and it's defending the boys saying that they were tired and James responded again saying being tired is not an excuse to not smile and give a hug to people who paid to meet you which I do understand yeah. and a lot of James Charles fans were cheering James on with the comments like this person who tweeted excellent comment sister and period love with Vinny pointing out how much love James shows to his fans at meeting greets and I completely get where people are coming from and people are posting like different celebs that they've met with and obviously all celebs are gonna have tons of fans who are meeting them and they're tired, they're doing tours and doing all this stuff, but. Lauren Gray was also someone who chimed in. Oh, you're starting without me, Emil? <laughs> I got hungry. <laughs> I could smell it and I was just waiting to get to the point where we could eat some together and then. <laughs> well, I was eating while you were talking. Okay, See? okay, well, that makes sense. I'll, I'll... <laughs> I'll be back. Um, Lauren Gray also had a lot to say with multiple tweets saying, Hi, just reminding you that Little Girl is the reason you even have a tour. I did a free meet and greet after a seven hour flight when I had to wake up at 5 a.m. the next day. Mm -hmm. She also went on to say, no excuse is good enough to treat the people who love you and put a roof over your head like they don't matter, especially if they're paying to see you. I mean, it's true. There were a lot of people sharing their thoughts, but the Dobre brothers actually issued an apology. Lucas tweeted, we just wanted to apologize after a long 48 hours of restless filming and touring, then meeting thousands of fans with no sleep. We were exhausted by the end of our show. Our true apologies. We are sincerely sorry. 
I get it and it sucks because obviously that footage is there and you have to acknowledge what you did, but hopefully this is a lesson. I'm talking to this camera because somebody said last year, like, why are you guys not looking at the camera? Because we look at the wife. So hopefully they learned their lesson <laughs> and this is something that other people can take note of in the future. Back to this. <laughs> back to this. Um, back to this as well while we're at it. How good is pumpkin pie? The pumpkin pie is so good. They're not always this good. Sometimes they taste very pumpkin. -y. Well, this one said no high fructose corn syrup, so maybe that's why. Mm. But we're going to move on to Justin and Haley because they were in the news this week. Also from something that happened on camera that was being filmed, but they filmed it themselves. Mm, it was an Instagram live and basically Haley was recording. Justin was reenacting Taylor Swift's post LASIK eye surgery meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. That you probably saw, you guys. It you know, was the banana. It was hilarious, and you know I love my bananas too, mm -hmm. so I quite bonded with Taylor over this. It was a great clip. She was on Jimmy Fallon. That's where it was. It was. It was meant to be a funny video, yeah. but a lot of people had an issue with this because they didn't think that Justin and Haley were actually laughing with Taylor by reenacting, but rather mocking Taylor, especially yeah. because they have such a tumultuous history. Well, you remember all the Scooter Braun stuff that we talked mm. about a couple of months ago and fans came for Justin, but really came for Haley, who got involved in a long Twitter thread with the fan after she saw a video of a really upset fan dragging her. And there were a lot of back and forth and responses she was making. Then she posted a Bible verse to her Insta story um, about everybody getting along. And it was just really drawn out. And I don't know, it was unnecessary drama, but I do understand where the fans were coming from because on DHR, we were saying, you know, maybe it was just all in good fun, but people were saying just because of their history, probably It not. was such a sensitive, yeah, it's, it's like it's too soon. It's yeah. too soon for Justin Bieber to having, be having fun with Taylor if that's what he thought he was doing. Mm -hmm. um, but moving on to our next story, another thing, I mean, this week, there's been a lot of like controversial lot, things happening a online, a lot of backlash. This week, Trisha Paytas had a lot of people confused and outraged when she came out as transgender. We're not gonna attempt to break down all of the detail of her first video, but if we could summarize it, Trisha said she was coming out as a transgender female to male and identifies with being a gay man who is also a drag queen, among many other things. Yeah, she received a ton of backlash for this and it was just, she was very misinformed in the video, but it wasn't just backlash from the LGBTQ plus community, but a lot of people were saying that she was misinformed and felt like she was using a marginalized group for clickbait. Yeah, and subsequently to that, she put out another video, an apology video, and also a questioning video where she was expressing herself further, also her regrets, but she was standing by her claims. And you guys, as you can imagine, the comments on every social platform, she was trending and her mm -hmm. YouTube videos as well, Everything was just a mess in the comment section. But there was one interesting thing that came with the comment section. <laughs> Sorry, I'm chewing. People were really calling into question Trisha's relationship with Shane Dawson, as well as saying that Shane should do some type of intervention with Trisha and maybe do the next docuseries after Jeffrey with Trisha, which by the way, Everybody calm down, because we know how long it took to get the Jeffrey docuseries. Like, yeah. he's, this, we're still at, not even, we but, just got part three yesterday. Yeah, so it's like, exactly, exactly. But this was a very important, like interesting point I found that a lot of people were talking about in the comment yeah. of her video. And so starting with this comment, Shane's next series, The Gender of Trisha Paytas. And that was followed by this person who said, I really wonder what Shane thinks about all of this. To which another fan said, if Shane believed she was serious, he would have come to her defense by now. And another said, even with a Shane Dawson series, there would still be lies. This person made this point saying, Shane is still friends with her, at least as far as we know now. He hasn't said anything about her in over two years, besides a Shade name in the last video. I think he really cares about her and sees that she's a real mess and he can't do anything about it. And one more comment we will mention in this is one person who said in respect to the question of whether Shane's next series should be on Trisha, they said, he honestly should. I think Shane is one of the only people that can get close to knowing what Trisha is feeling. They have a bond and I feel like if he did it right and she was truly open, people might have more of an insight look to who she is. I think she needs to find help and figure this all out. Well, yeah, a lot of people were saying that she needs to find help and we do understand that maybe she is trying to relay how she feels and it just didn't come out in the right way. Yeah. Um, even though some of her follow-up actions following the apology video kind of proves to me otherwise, whatever. But it appears that a lot of people 
or saying that Trisha should talk to somebody or more than one person, and that person could possibly be shamed if he was op open to doing that, but who knows? But uh, mm. lots of romance or possible romance news this week. Uh, we have Miley and Cody Simpson's relationship progressed, and he serenaded her back to health because remember she went to the hospital, she was hospitalized for was it tonsillitis, um, and she called him her boyfriend on Instagram stories. BF, so. BF, and I'm sure it really can't mean anything else. I right? take that as boyfriend. Yeah, even though apparently like they're not like it's not meant to be serious, but all the yeah. things. But anyway, we'll we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> Selena Gomez and Niall Horan have also sparked some romance rumors this week again. So mm -hmm. Selena was spotted arriving at his house with a bag of groceries and days later he posted a picture with a poster billboard behind him of Selena saying like, hey Selena, so I don't know. No we know, kissing pics yet. No kissing pics, we know they're really good friends, that's not news to us. And yeah. this could be just, you know, friends hanging out, but a lot of fans online are, are very very hoping that there is more to it, so we'll just have to wait and see. But speaking of Niall, we have to talk about Harry Styles because he posted a cryptic tweet that just said, do, and fans <laughs> were in a frenzy, and then even more so when billboards started popping up in Australia and other places with, do you know who you are? Yes, and then late Thursday afternoon, he posted the same words to his Insta story, and then the next day it arrived, he dropped his new single, Lights Up, where he's looking amazing, and sings the lyrics, do you know who you are? So that's where all the do things started from. Uh, also, really quickly, Tom Holland shocked fans with a new hairstyle, as well as Jimin this week. So yeah. everyone's like mixing up there, and maybe we should do something with our hair. I might, I, listen, I may go blonde again at some point, but for now, this is what it's going to be. But uh, last week, Susan, you had fun with the emojis. You did oh, what? Lipstick yeah. and twins? Oh, well, yeah, so basically, a lot of you got the emojis right. So there were emojis that popped up during the episode that linked to the stories. There was a lipstick for the Beautiful world of Jeffree Star, yeah. as well as two emojis that were the Dolan twins. And this week we have another another emoji fun game for you guys. So as you can see, there's plenty of pumpkins on mm -hmm. set. And I want you to drop a comment in the comment section the number of pumpkins you've seen in this entire episode. But here's the thing. This is what I need you to do. Because I feel like if they just put the number, people are gonna like copy. So what I want you to do is Ooh. instead of like putting Let's say the number was 25, which is not. No. But if it was 25, I want you to figure out a way, like actually type out 25, the letters, and incorporate it into a sentence so it's not just like obvious to people what it is. Uh, you know what I mean? But add, oh, yeah. So you know what we should do? Yeah. You have the number in a sentence. Mm -hmm. Can I just write the number? I feel like a lot of people won't know what would do. But if they write, if, as soon as people start writing numbers, everybody will see it. Yeah. And then it gives it away. Yeah. Because that's what happened with the emojis, and people are like, oh, we know what the emoji is. Yeah. Find a creative way to tell us what, you're, what the answer mm -hmm. is, and use a pumpkin emoji somewhere in it, just so that we know, you to know. To look for it. I like that. Also, yeah, we'll yeah. do that. So you find your way to tell us how many pumpkins you've seen from the entire episode beginning to end. That might be a clue yeah. to look extra special, like extra detective work um, and you let us know in the comment section uh, what's happening next week though um, next week is a big week we got lots happening oh no next week yeah well next week I feel like I feel like we're gearing up for Halloween I yeah. feel like there's a lot going on that's kind of getting ready for Halloween and the purge season 2 premieres next week which is pretty terrifying <laughs> I am so ready for I love the purge series but also we have some birthdays Jimin's birthday is tomorrow mm -hmm. Zac Efron Eminem John Mayer and Ursha baby all of them have birthdays coming up, so we're very excited for you. Happy birthday in advance. Yes, happy birthday in advance. Yeah. And uh, thanks so much for hanging out with us on the lowdown, eating some pumpkin pie. You guys out, who, who likes pumpkin pie? I clean my plate, so I, I clearly know, like it pumpkin was actually, pie. And I thought you didn't really like pumpkin pie. I don't, I mean, it's not my favorite, but I love apple pie. Mm. A nice with the crumb on top. Mm, yeah. Like a Dutch apple pie. Mm. I love a good pie. I love a good pie. But you guys, thanks again for joining us. Drop us a comment. Thanks for hanging out. Have an awesome weekend, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, hold on, though. Before you go anywhere, you need to catch up on last week's episode of Celebrity Lowdown. We had Katie Turner right here on the couch. What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Also, subscribe. I'm just going to go eat this pie. What about me?